it looks like it's going – if I understand course right, it looks like this is going south. It looks like it's going – if I understand course right, it looks like this is going south. You may know him from his own YouTube channel, Going South, although he seems to be going north every time I talk to him. <laughs> channel going south um yes you know we had jeremy yeah Calvin, everything's who's... going south yeah yeah, yeah everything sure. is going, it's all going south. south right yeah right so, it's going so... south but that it's not all or nothing it doesn't mean that it goes south until everything completely vanishes yeah but, but do you think right? which people... many people can easily say that yeah. you know it's all going south there's absolutely okay. nothing we can do yeah so i just watched the um the latest uh, greta thunberg documentary and um, and it showed her uh, visiting world leaders, uh, visiting the sites where they have the latest green tech, like extracting CO two out of the atmosphere, uh, reducing the the methane from cows. Um, I, I talked about the emissions from the production of clothing. And um, climate protests and whatnot. Oh, she, yeah, she visited uh, the what's the name? The Chancellor of uh, Germany. Um, and yeah, what I found disturbing was at the very end there was this citation that that world temperatures will rise by about three degrees. By two thousand one hundred. So that must that must be the the mainstream view still. In it's now what May two thousand twenty one, and that's the that's the accepted view. So <clears throat> so what I I've made videos talking about the the guy McPherson uh, position. Which is that climate change is, is irreversible, and it's um, going to collapse society, collapse civilization uh, within the, the within the next few years. He has been wrong a few times. Like he has he has thought that it would have happened already, um, but he's he's stuck with the same view that that he. he that not only civilization will collapse, but humans will become extinct in 2026. And he lays out all the reasoning for that. Um, a big one is the melt of the North Pole. Uh, the, but basically, the the difference between his view and 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 mainstream science is adding up all the feedbacks. For example, when there's a, a blue ocean event or tipping points, if there's a blue ocean event, that alone will increase the um, average world temperatures by something like uh, three degrees on, just, just with that. And um, uh, methane is, is, is huge. It's, it's starting to get measurably higher levels in particular parts of the Arctic, like 3,000 parts per billion. And uh, if, if you look at the curves, it's it's really starting to shoot up, um, as expected. You know? And, um, yeah, so it's methane and, and uh, nitrous oxide. And oh, another feedback is, is water vapour. Um, According to the peer-reviewed science, water vapor alone will increase world temperatures by something like two degrees by 2030. Um, and then, and yeah, CO2 emissions are still going up um, despite the, the reduction in activity with the pandemic. Um,
yeah, so yeah, I've been just just thinking, trying to think how I can communicate the guy McPherson message, and that's what people liked in my videos before. Just did a neat summary. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's there's not much to it really. It's not rocket science. It's just being honest. It's it's not about being intelligent, having some special knowledge. It's more about like it, seeing the asteroid coming and and um, and being honest about it. Um, you know, I think well, as far as I can gather, so, a lot of scientists know all this stuff. They know that we're in deep trouble, but um, they don't have much incentive to to speak out about it because because you tend to be labelled a nutcase. Um, yeah, Guy McPherson says that um, you tend to, to to lose status in your profession if if you if you're a doomer. And um, yeah, but, well, yeah. What is <clears throat> yeah? What can we say? Like um, yeah, I'm, I've had contact with Kevin Hester in New Zealand. He He's always saying, you know, brace for impact. Um, he talks about the exponential curve, how humanity um, just doesn't comprehend um, the exponential function. Um, yeah, um, yeah, there's obviously a lot of a lot of hope for people with electric cars and solar panels on their roof, um, veganism, and uh, yeah, in Australia, there's all this talk from politicians about green hydrogen. Um, but a again, the, the problem is that these types of things won't actually reduce the world's temperature. Um, yeah, generally speaking, people aren't aren't aren't, aren't real about it, um, or even the you know, the Paris targets of one point five or below two degrees. Um, that that's just a, that, that that's just a political target. It, w it wasn't put together by scientists, and um, and I. I don't think many scientists would would agree that world temperatures are all of a sudden going to going to stop at one point five or two degrees. Um, and yeah, world population st still still going up, like births minus deaths. World population goes up by a million people every four or five days. Um, Obviously, and the more people there are, the more emissions. Um, and there's no there's no dramatic initiative to stop the stop that going up. Like I mean, China abandoned their one child policy. Um, um, but but yeah, that's not that relevant to the, the abrupt, abrupt climate change message, which is that. That all of that is, is too late. Even if we cut childbirth, or yeah, we, we stop driving cars, stop eating meat, you know, rode bicycles to work, um, stop catching aeroplanes, it's not going to do anything. Why? Because because of the inertia, because of because of the, the feedback stepping loop. To, uh, yeah, tipping points. Uh, it's like a runaway freight train. It's already, it's already um, you know, going off the cliff. How do you how do you put on the brakes? Um, I mean, some people talk about nuclear energy, but the, so nuclear energy doesn't it doesn't cool the planet. So solar panels don't cool the planet. Um, Anything that possibly could was 
is um, is geoengineering. In the yeah, in the Greta Thunberg documentary, they talked. To, they mentioned uh, geoengineering, like putting sulfur in the atmosphere. But um, but they also said that that has problems. You you might cool the planet, but then you, there's a whole lot, host of other problems. Um, it, it just can't be done safely. Um, and um, as I said in a previous video, look, it, it doesn't solve the ecological breakdown. The, you know, the, the sixth mass extinction or whatever we're up to now, is, other people say seventh, eighth not, uh, mass extinction. Um, of the, yeah, the UN said that species are going extinct, like plant and animal species are going extinct about 200 a day. It's estimated. Um, how, I mean, how do you reverse that? And, and we're still cutting down the forests. Um, yeah, obviously the Brazil Brazilian rainforest is getting annihilated. Um, so, yeah, what do you do? You know, just um, the, you know this with this this late in the game. Um, well, yeah, we just had what two thousand and twenty was the was about on par with two thousand and sixteen in world temperatures, possibly a bit higher. And in the next few years, we'll be coming up to. Um, a, a solar peak, a solar output peak, um, and also the the next um, El Nino. It's like in in two thousand sixteen we had an El Nino spike, like we did in, did in other years like nineteen ninety eight and two thousand five. So you've got. Those factors on top of CO2, methane, nitrous oxide, water vapor, uh, possibly a loss of clouds, loss of trees. So what do you do? Um, yeah, I mean, I, I like in Australia how we have, with the, we have the greens, the, like we have the leader Adam Bant's always saying we've got to shut down the coal, coal-fired power stations. But of course, he doesn't mention the the, the effect of global dimming, uh, the which, um, according to the peer-reviewed literature, uh, will actually increase the warming because we're dependent on our, on our own smog. Which is actually cooling us down. So yeah, we can put up all these windmills and you know, get into geothermal, or biomass, whatever. But, um, yeah, we just got to just got to enjoy the time we've got left. I mean. Um, I mean, yeah, like Guy McPherson could be wrong. Maybe, maybe civilization will carry on through this decade, but, but we'll still be stuck with the same problems. I mean, maybe, yeah, civil, civilization will still be intact in you know, 2025, 2030. But we'll still, we'll, by then, we'll have more people, more pollution, you know, more cars, more people eating meat until Mother Nature. Um, grinds it to a halt. So I it looks like it's going, if I understand course right, it looks like this is going south. It looks like it's going, if I understand course right, it looks like this is going south. You may know him from his own YouTube channel, going south, although he seems to be going north every time I talk to him, his YouTube channel going south. Um, yes. You know, we had Jeremy Corbyn. Yeah, everything's going south.
Yeah, yeah, yeah everything sure. is going, it's all going south. south, right? Yeah, right. So, it's going so, south, but that it's not all or nothing. It doesn't mean that it goes south until everything completely vanishes. Yeah, but, but do you think right? which people, many people can easily say that yeah. you know it's all going south? There's absolutely okay. nothing we can do. 